I'd like to thank everyone that participated in the conference. Um, and everyone that given their resources and their time so that this conference may be a success. We like to thank the Lord for every effort that has been put. Um, Joseph, let every blood be called in. And everyone, nobody goes out. And and I would like to ask you guys kindly to join this site. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like uh, people like to sit right at the back, but even those are at the last row, please come forward. Make sure that and there's no seat. I mean, there's no yes, please come in and try, please. So then the we are getting there. Occupy, occupy, occupy. Then we are getting there. Praise the name. Uh, the fathers, please, please, just come in, come in here. Come in. Oh, oh it's imagined that. Yeah. Please, the two of us, let us not be scattered like this. Hallelujah. Okay. Let us not be scattered like this. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to have a closer interpretation. Yeah. Go go. The Zomba. I see. I didn't Isaiah will hear nothing from it. Uh, uh, that is why I was in trouble. Thank you, that is. I got to find one. So I'm going to say that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, it is always a privilege and an honor. For me to stand in front of the people of your kind. Gumba, the me, pam, gabanto, banchengan. Um, I also like to take this time and welcome those that are coming to church for the first time. Anybody who's here for the first time today, if you are that person, kindly raise your hand. Will you? All right, tell your neighbor, I belong here. Uh, tell your neighbor, I belong here. Tell your neighbor, I belong here. Tell your neighbor, I belong here. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to just go to the word of God. Hallelujah. We're going to open the book of Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15. And we're going to read verse 11. Jesus, Jesus continued, there was a man who had two sons, they were strong, chopped off. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long enough, not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and they squandered his wealth and wild in wild living. Fourteen. After he had spent everything, he was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. 15. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country, who sent him to his fields to feed pigs. 16. He longed to fill his stomach with the pots that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. 17. When he came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare? And here I am starving to pay. 18. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. 19. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. 20. When he got up and went to his father, but while, but while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. 21. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Jesus. 22. But the father said to his... 
Yes, that last one, please read that last one. The but the father place. said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on, put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Amen. Yeah, just read from verse um, 17. Geka loku, akuba no gusconda, wati, kane ne banga kana na ba kesho ba kapao, abatigwa zonga, na kugemna di pela inchawa, di abusuga di abubao, di tuguye, bao, doni le ku amasulu, na se mefena ako, ani safana le kubiswa gonyana wako, dance, di bencho gumye kuba kesho ba ako. Wesuga wesa wise Kenga loka kubona kupa usekuti li Uise wambona Wasigwa ifesane Wakiti ima Wawe nyawe ni enya, 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 Sorry, wawa endanye ni yake Wamanga Watike unyana kuye Bao, ndo nile kuwa ama zulu Naseme shwene ako Anisafana ele kubizwa Goyana wako Uteke wise kupa konzi bake Kholani ingubo ende Eyo na inche, ni mambati ise, ni fago msasa ni sanje msake, ni mbata ata, ni nyewe msake. Jesus. This is your way, Father, I pray, Lord, this morning. Jesus. It's the way that you have read before. Hallelujah. But we pray, Father, that may, may be the answers of what we are facing right now. We pray, Father, that may be relevant to us. We pray, Father, that may be keys to us. We pray, Father, may you may guide us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray that, Father, may you uplift us Jesus. by your way. Lord, we pray that may you straighten us up by your way. We thank you, Father, that you are here. Lord, your spirit is here, Lord, this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, as we are busy talking about our theme, anointed yet relevant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I like my Bible, my version here. The heading says, The parable of the lost son. city is what I like about it, it says the lost. But it still says son. Do you get what I'm getting here? Even though this boy is lost. But the father does not change who he is. He still calls him son. In other ways, the position has changed. But who he is has not changed. Even though you lost your place, but your but your title in God has not changed. He doesn't call him a thief. He doesn't call him by what he did. He doesn't call him by being the one who is lost. But he still calls him son. I'm so blessed this morning that I'm talking to sons. And sonship is not something you earn. Sonship is not something you work for. But sonship is your position of birth. What makes you a son is where you were born. It is not what you did. There is nothing you can do that can make you a son. And there's nothing you can do that can shift you not to be a son. You are a son by place of birth. You are a son by a position of birth. Somebody say, I am a son. It doesn't matter what people say. But God calls you the son. Somebody sang a song. He said, 
I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. He calls me friend. He calls me friend. He does not evaluate how my life looks like. He does not examine how my life looks like. Then he can award me by calling me son. He calls me son. The important thing is that I must be there. As long as I am there, it doesn't matter in which pocket is the money. The sons have just got to make sure that I am there. I asked my down. What am I going to say now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now, when the sons demand, if this boy now demands that let the money to buy toys be in my pocket, it shows a number of things. He doesn't trust that I will pay. 
for what is his. And it also runs the risk of that money being lost before it buys the toys. Now, we do not have to have the things of God in our garage and in our bank account or in our pockets. We just have got to have him with us. Okay. Because if our things are in him and he is with us, we just pick what you want and we say, Father, pay. So when we demand things to be in us, it's a sign of the lack of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we can go and do anything anyway. As long as we are with the Father, He is responsible for what we take. But now, if we want to have the things of God in us, it means we are saying you can remain wherever you are. Then the things you gave us will take care of us. But when you say, God, I don't need your things. I need you. Send a half an army. Send an army go. Hallelujah. So if we understand that God is our Father, if we break things in the shop, the people in the shop will not talk to us. They will look at the Father. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I'm going with them, young boys there, yeah. and they mess up things, I will be responsible for the important thing is to be with the Father. Is to be with the Father in whatever we are doing. Hallelujah. Don't go to the class without the Father. Don't go to the office without the Father. Don't go to church without the Father. Don't do anything without the Father. Don't start a business without the Father. Don't start working without the Father. Don't get married without the Father. For anything you need, it is in the Father. Father of Christ. So when you are with God and God is everything, don't linger around begging everybody when you have told God you have told the faithful Father and he can be touched by the feeling of our infirmities he understands where we are and what we need he supplies all our needs according to his riches and glory his name is Jehovah Jireh in him we live in him we move and in him we have our being oh hallelujah hallelujah Jesus hallelujah hallelujah now, if this is God, if this is the, 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 uh, this is the Father, uh, if this is the Father, and this is this young man, 
And this young man says, Give me what is mine. I want to show you something interesting here. These are the things of the Father. Ah, you know, you don't take anything here. These are the things of the Father. Hey, so the is <laughs> yes. These are the things of the Father. Listen to Kata. I need more. I need more. Okay. Bring, bring that back. These are what are these things? The things of the Father. Now watch this. Now watch this. Chokama, the chokama. Um, he says, "Give me what is mine out of the things that are there." Where's that thing? Just buy. Now the, the 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 thing here is let's stand in the side for this. Let's just stand aside for this. Yeah. Now he says, "Give me." Look at me. Now it means that the things that Father gives me, they will be in front of me. Then it will shift my focus from the Father. To the things of the Father, I will forget the relationship with the Father and that's the things of the Father while the Father is still alive. They block my view to my Father because they are now here. Listen something else here. The devil wants you to have the things out of the father's protection so that when you lose focus then he can come because he cometh not but he cometh not but to, to kill to steal and to destroy so the father the devil wants the devil wants you to get things from the father once you have got things from the father you forget about worship but you are missing the things that God gave you Before I go back home, God, allow me 
from the Father and they come to you um, we pray for a lot of young people and pray not only young people everybody people that get their breakthrough once their breakthrough comes now they are looking at their breakthrough Oh my God. Pray that this man let be well with the business. Let be well with his business. Because God is faithful. He says, I'll give you the desires of your heart. Now that he gave you, you are too busy. The problem with the prodigal son was not to take things from the father but it was to eat them away so your things are safe in the hand of God when you want to take them from the hand of God you, chances are that you want to show off chances are that you've got pride but if you knew that they are in the hands of the Father and they are yours then you wouldn't be worried because the Bible says do not worry Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every man of God that claims to give people things, it means those things are with him. And if they are with him, he is not with the Father. Also, that you know the Lord. We know that these things are in the Lord. So we will tell you that the Lord will give. But if they are with us, it means we are the prodigal son. It means we have taken them and we went with them away. And now we are telling you that we will give you these things. But it means we are not with the Father. If we are with the Father, even my own things are with the Father. How much more about yours? I will send you to the world who supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory. I will introduce you to the Father. Oh, my job is not to give people things. But my job is to introduce the Father. My job is to introduce the relationship with the Father. And I don't give people things. But I tell people about the one that gives things. Hallelujah. 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 Every time you come here, I tell you about the reason one. Can supply your needs. I don't have anything. And everything that I have it came from here. And I'm just a steward. I'm taking care of the father's sins. And I want to introduce you to the father who can supply all your needs. Lord, I pray to God. I'm going to show you something else. 
Marie de Bolle Sengit. The Bible says, little by little, and all those things shall be added. Your witness, Hallelujah. And they shall follow you. It is a line there. Hallelujah. You see this? In other words, Seek the Father. Which means that your face must not look that side. It must not look that side. But it must seek the Father. And while you seeking the Father, everything else it follows you. Following me. Coming behind you. Come and see, just got home. They are not supposed to be in front of us. Between us and God. They are meant to be behind. Hallelujah. 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 The things of God are not supposed to be between us and the Father. They are supposed to be behind us. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 As we are facing the Father, is he the things of God? They are going to their master. While they are going to their master, and I'm on my way to my master, then the things of God are busy going to God. That's where they are found. They are found following me. So while I'm going to the Father, the things that go to the Father, they overtake me. That is why we say blessings shall overtake you when you are obedient to the Father. Hallelujah. So your blessing is in obeying the Father. It is in seeking the Father. It is not in anything else. Let me close by something here. Then the prodigal son took everything. Then it disappeared. And because when you disappear from God, things that He gave you, when you are with Him, they will disappear. Ah, so no penema shwe. Go but is it just got Jehovah? For the things of God, as it be no command. They are not kept by people. They are kept by the word of God. So whatever blessing you had, you only think of it on now. Because you are with the Father, when you are no longer with the Father, it will vanish. Stay with the Father. Shall I not go? Stay with me, Lord. Stay with me, Lord. Stay with me, Lord. Hallelujah. Not just the last point I want to make. Eh, magen chetel do kabe. Kapel si sale do. When the prodigal son had finished everything. The Bible says he remembered little by little the love of the Father. My God. So what made it to go back? It means they were paid. Was the love of the Father. Not the things of the Father. Because he even said. Even if I get nothing, I'm not going back for the things. I'm going back for the love. 
As if he's saying that the condition I'm in here is not the problem. But the problem is the absence of the love. Even if I'm in the same condition, but if I'm with the love of the Father, I can face anything. The problem that I have Praise the name of the Lord. So we need to be with the Father. He remembered the love of the Father. And now, uh, when he came, when he arrived at the Father, the Bible says, the Father said, what uh, to He told the servant, says, take away. What you going to Take away his clothes that are stinking so that we can do away with the evidence of where you be. This is what anointing is all about. Anointing is all about the cover of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When, when, when the prodigal son came back, he came back with, with the torn clothes. Stinking clothes. And, and then when he came back, the Bible says the father hugged him. Little by baby. He hugged him. He put his hands around him. One of the reasons he hugged him was that any boy who any person any boy that has done what this prodigal son did deserves to be stoned to death. Now the father was taking a risk that whoever is killing the father has got to kill him first. He was protecting the son so that he does not die like he deserves to die. Whatever that was to kill him, it has got to kill the father first. That is a risk that God takes. That whatever we desire, we must take it to him first. When he finished there, he took off his took off his clothes. And he gave him he gave him a new garment. Let, let, let's do this literal. He, he gave him his that was reserved. Ah. So now the way the son looks is how the father looks. And that is the reason I seek and I shout. For Jesus came down. He took away how I used to look. And he put on me how he used to look. He says, anybody might kill the father's son. Kill me first. Kill me first and save my people. That is why we are saved by the blood. We are saved by the blood. We are saved by the blood. We should Father God, 
The prodigal son, uh, the Bible says he had grown, he was no more a toddler, but he was now a son. So he understood what sonship is. But now the problem that he had was that he took things. What had he seen, don't? and spent them away from the father well, but he was not wrong by taking what belongs to him the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter number 7 it, 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 I have seen very sad thing under the sun it, 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 I have seen prince and princesses walking on barefoot and I've seen slaves on horseback and for as long as we don't understand what's ours somebody else will enjoy what belongs to you but this guy grew and understood that what belongs to the father is mine and I can't keep living like a servant when what belongs to the father is mine it's time that I take what belongs to me and the devil has to know that I am taking over what belongs to me hallelujah Jesus and where we are reading the Bible says there were 10 guys with leprosy leprosy was a disease according to the book of Leviticus that was regarded as a curse from God if you had leprosy you were taken away from God and the unfortunate part of leprosy you could not hide leprosy if you had leprosy there were garments that you had to wear that would identify you that you have leprosy and when you had leprosy it is quite obvious that you would become the talk of the town because everybody would know that you are unclean but now the Bible says when these guys that had leprosy they were taken out of the city they were taken out of people they were rejected left to die there all by themselves but the Bible says right on that moment 
Jesus showed up. And, yes, and when Jesus showed up, they began to shout. And they said, Son, but yes, of the negative lesson. Yes, and Jesus said, what yes. Go show yourselves to the priest. In other words, where they rejected you, go show yourself. In other words, where they wrote you off, go show yourself. In other words, where they denied you, go show yourself. In other words, I'll make a statement that I was down. Hey, thank you, Father. Ah, no we church folks. Eh, eh, no because they come to church and act like God. Saved them, from, from, saved them from nothing. They come to church and act like God. Saved them from nothing. But I got a message for you. Don't hide. Because your story can be healing to somebody. You stood through what you've been through. Oh, we have been never born again. I wasn't born a saint. I wasn't born a saint. But I'm about to tell you what I've been through. Because you cannot understand my breakthrough. If you don't know my been through, let me take you to my been Send your father. I've got a problem with church folks. Do you know about the name of the Lord? Put up, put up, put up. 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 Put up, our heads, the fucking conversation, and we don't show our scars. Singapore is the best thing I've ever seen. Some people who are sitting here, who are part of a lot. No matter how powerful one can preach, no matter how powerful one can preach, they can never be healed. Yeah, they can never be healed until they know what I've been through. Bad man, you lead to the worst man. And if you keep hiding your scars, scar of fishing the man's heart, people will die. I'm going to have a solution. We will have a solution. Because you have been through what somebody's going to do. It's time to take off the head. You say, "Shall we put it in a different place?" Scars on my head. Put the head in the room. But I survived. Shall we put the head in the room? 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 Shall we put Go show yourself to the priest. Say I'm there, come there, come there, come there, come there, come there. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
God. We are praying. Go to the house of Jesse. And to someone who is after my heart. Go and anoint someone. Hallelujah. I've got a relevant support. Hallelujah. I've got somebody whose heart is after me and God. I've got somebody who is going to carry on my mission as God. God is about to anoint people here now. Hallelujah. God is on a mission. God is on a mission. We said yesterday that Saul was anointed to deal with the Amalekites. But this time, David is anointed to deal with the sin. Hallelujah! When God says this, the Israelites were in the battle. They were in the battlefield and glory to the giants. That's making the lost a lost stock out of the people of God. Hallelujah. 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 I've said, I've said, I've said, I've said. When God anoints you, you must know that there's something that you're supposed to do. That is a that is a mission. That is a mission. We're going home now. We're going to carry out the mission. We're going to have to carry out the mission of God. Hey, we are going to decide to carry out the mission of God. We are going down to Basulu Natali to carry out the mission of God. Hey, we are in South Africa to change South Africa. God wants to deal with the mess that we see in South Africa. This need the anointed people. God wants to deal with the mess that is in the church and what we want to be used. Hallelujah. 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 Then God says, you're not going to read. You read yourself. Then God says, go to the house of Jesse. Tell Jesse to bring his sons. Now the sons comes. These sons, the pastors are talking about. Now the sons, now we're going to anoint the sons. We're going to anoint the sons. Now the sons come. Then they come. Listen, before I pray, you know, they will come with their dignity. With their outward appearance, or up in a tablet. Mamela! It's why, you know, you know, you know, in the olden days, you, you cannot go to the altar to worship when the whole of the family is no, was not there. But here, I want to make a point here. But here, the family of Jesus sat down without David, without the one called, without the one known by the Lord, they sat down. Listen here, God, you son, is going to use you even if you are rejected. Even if you are rejected. Even if you have been rejected. Even if things have been said about you. But with you, you are all aware. I want to call your line, the line of God. I'm relevant to do, God is going to do you in a mighty manner. Hallelujah. 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 Then David comes. After all the sons have passed, then a uh, son said, I all your sons here. I all your sons here. When you tell the name, you are important to God. You are very much important to God. All the people have come. All have come. Therefore, it's over. When all have come. Yeah, when all have come. But God says, where are you? Don't get you. <laughs> when all have come. Then God says, where are you? Talk about you. That's what happened to David. Then, oh my God. Then the young man came from the fence, stinging sheep. Then the Lord said, There is the king. There is the one to defeat Goliath. Let us stand on our feet. There is the one to defeat Goliath. Hallelujah. The Lord said, That is the one. That is the one to defeat the giant.
diet. There is the one to defeat the diet. You are the one to defeat the diet. You are the one to create the partnership. The Almighty of God is about to do you. Nothing will ever stand before you.